as I sort of just gave away at Move Free, we're making milk without cows. Seriously, milk without cows. This is possible because we're producing the exact same proteins that are found in cow's milk, and it's vitally important for three reasons. First, deforestation. Animal agriculture is responsible for almost all the degradation of the Amazon. Second, greenhouse gas emissions. Dairy alone is responsible for 4% of anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions globally. And third, coming from drought-stricken California, water. The water footprint of a single gallon of milk is equivalent to taking a two-month-long shower. It's true. I came into this because I realized that any serious discussion about sustainability needs to address animals and cows in particular. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. At Move Free, we're brewing milk, and the potential impact is gigantic: 98% less water consumption, 91% less land usage, 84% less carbon dioxide emissions. 65% less energy, and critically, you'll be able to help us achieve this impact without substantially changing your diet. So, how do we do it? Two steps. The first step takes place in fermenters, not too different from、uh, how beer is made. But instead of producing alcohol, our dairy yeasts produce real milk proteins. Now, we can actually already make all the major milk proteins without animals, and we can assemble the same structures that are found in milk, and that's key to milk that behaves the way you expect it to. Next, we separate these proteins from everything else, and we combine them with healthy plant-based ingredients. The result: delicious, nutritious milk, no artificial flavors, no hormones, no antibiotics. We even leave out the lactose and the components known to cause milk allergies. Let me say that again: no more milk allergies, no more lactose intolerance. That puts us in a position to begin selling premium milk and dairy products relatively soon, as early as 2018. Meanwhile, we'll be working our way down the cost curve, improving our technology, improving our unit economics, and that's the key—the economics, because that's when the big guys get interested. We're actually already talking to six major multinational food companies that are eager to get involved. Why do these guys care? Look, if this were just delicious milk with reduced impact, that's not enough to get their attention. Mufri is clean, bacteria-free. It'll have excellent shelf life, like weeks instead of days. It won't require cold shipping, and because it can be brewed locally, it will require less shipping in general. Now, all of that leads to greater stability in prices, greater stability in supply, and when you start talking about supply chain efficiency, ah, that gets their attention. I like it because with local brewing, we can imagine bringing the means of production back to families. Can you imagine if running a dairy was more like running a craft brewery? For my employees, many of these guys come from biofuels, brutal industry. As they like to say, when you're just making something to burn, it's tough to make money. Well, Move Free can actually turn waste into food. The brilliant thing about fermentation is it's feedstock agnostic. In the future, we could make food from weeds or even recycled paper. Now, I know we're onto something big. Because people from some of the best biotechnology companies in the world, some of the best food companies in the world, they want to work with us, and they already are. We've managed to put together a killer advisory team, people with senior positions across the board, government, food companies, biotech companies, big and small. They are with us because they believe in what we're doing, and they believe we can do what we're trying to do. We know what challenges to anticipate and how to overcome them. When we get off the ground, we're headed for the stars, but we're not there yet. We're still a few months away from having the perfect prototype. If we win, this prize money will help us to get where we need to be in time to raise our next round of fundraising. With climate change, we don't have the option to wait longer. Please think about what. What we're going to do to feed a world of 10 billion by 2050? Either we all have to give up animal products, or we need to find better ways to make them. Well, I'm happy to tell you, we have a better way to make milk now. We're move-free. We make milk without cows. Thank you.